Well, former U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney has canceled a trip to Canada after his security advisors deemed his visit too dangerous. Now, Cheney was last in Canada in September of last year. That's when angry protests broke out against his visit. Protesters were demanding his arrest for alleged war crimes. Well, let's switch over to Calgary. We're joined by representative from Veterans Today, Mr. Joshua Blackney. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, let's talk about the significance of this and that uh, Cheney felt threatened enough to even cancel his visit. Thanks for being with us. Yes, it's highly significant. You know, in uh, the year 2000, the Canadian Parliament enshrined the Crimes Against Humanity and War Crimes Act which is unambiguous, those who are even just suspected of having participated in war crimes or uh, crimes against humanity, let alone having confessed to them in their, their memoirs, as Dick Cheney and George Bush have, are completely inadmissible to Canada. They're not allowed in the country. And if they do set foot in Canada, this law states, they must be apprehended. Now, on March, in March 2009, George W. Bush came to Canada on his first visit to a foreign country without diplomatic immunity. In January 2009, Cheney and Bush lost their diplomatic immunity. And this was a test case in the world, and the Canadian government afforded impunity to George W. Bush on that occasion. And actually, right here in the city of Calgary, uh, my friend Splitting the Sky attempted a citizen's arrest on George Bush. And since then, what started with a group of protesters here in Calgary in 2009 has uh, morphed into this mass movement in Canada, which reared its head on uh, September 26, when uh, Dick Cheney visited the Vancouver Club uh, in Vancouver. And, uh, I, you know, the Dick Cheney's uh, agent has made the statement that he uh, is con concerned about his security and therefore won't visit Canada. The uh, propaganda media outlets here in Canada are trying to portray this as, you know, uh, because he's scared of protesters, even though he has bodyguards who are armed with guns. Mm -hmm. I think that he's actually scared of the law enforcers in Canada, that actually uh, there are political forces in Canada who uh, are angry with the incumbent regime here for affording impunity uh, and abrogating ca Canadian law. You know, you talk to quite ordinary people on the street here in Canada who are, who are you know, non-political, who are apolitical, and they know that, you know, if the law was being enforced and being enforced consistently and equitably, that Dick Cheney and George Bush would be inadmissible to Canada, and Benjamin Netanyahu for that matter. And so there are vested interests that want to have a situation where there is the rule of law, you know, for working class people, but the kind of elite are above the law. Mm -hmm. So if you're from Texas or from Washington, from, uh, you know, Tel Aviv, you don't have the law applied to you. But right. many Canadians aren't happy with that. And in fact, in Canada in the last election, we had a quite uh, left-wing socialistic uh, party uh, win many seats in the Canadian Parliament. And their immigration critic in the Canadian Parliament has come out and said that Dick Cheney and George Bush are inadmissible to Canada. And so I think this is highly significant. I think that his concern is nothing to do with what the media are saying here in Canada, oh, it's the thuggish, uh, you know, violent protesters who could hurt Dick Cheney. I think he's actually actually concerned of, uh, with immigration officials, uh, you know, apprehending him. Well, well Joshua, amazing... Joshua, let me just jump in here. How likely would that even be the case? Do you think, uh, given the clout and the pull, that uh, Dick Cheney or George W. Bush, or as you've said, uh, Netanyahu, that they have, um, would the arrest actually take place, and would they be able to stick charges against them? Well, as I say, the, you know, the, lead, the immigration critic in the Canadian Parliament who's, you know, the op the leading the opposition in the Canadian Parliament has come out and said that if they set foot in Canada, they must be apprehended. Okay. We have a group of jurists in Canada uh, who form the group Lawyers Against the War, who every single time Bush or Cheney try to enter Canada, they inform the relevant authorities that under it's their legal obligation, because, of course, these are the people who kidnapped a Canadian child soldier, Omar Tada, dragged him off to Guantanamo Bay, tortured him, apprehended him with no habeas corpus, uh, and, you know, this is uh, illegal. And, and okay. in fact, in, in, in All right. May well, of I'm sorry, Joshua, we are out of time. I appreciate you okay. joining us right here at Presby's World News. From Veterans Today, Joshua Blackney in Calgary.